So what I'm going to try and show here today is how pump timing works. This is the gear here, right here. And that's where the three bolts with the 5 16 head 12 point nuts or 8 millimeter 12 point nuts go in. The dowel pin that aligns on the crankshaft or another crankshaft, the dowel pin that aligns on the uh, pump. I'm going to show you that this pump is on my dead engine and I'm doing this just because some guys need to see it. So I've got it um, all the way to the driver's side right now and I don't know if I can do this if you can see the timing mark on the pump and then the one on the gear is there so they're about a eighth of an inch apart I don't have the nuts on holding it in place but I'm just doing this just so the sake of showing it so this is fully retarded in this position and I can move the pump all the way up so there's almost a half an inch of movement now the hash mark static timing mark is above I don't know if this shows it very good or not I'm trying to do this sorry for being jerky guys it's just really hard to do sometimes some of this stuff that I do um, so I don't know if I can do this any other there it is there and then I can slowly pull that down whoops or not so slow there we go there's a good view of it you know I need a three-quarter inch wrench but there's where we are and I can move it back and forth slowly so a good starting point theoretically is where they're lined up like that so retarded advanced static timed that's pretty darn close to where you want it to be when those lines line up that's the factory setting right there this boss right here that my fingers on I don't know if I can show it this this boss right here a three-quarter inch wrench will fit right over top of that and allow you to turn the pump back and forth I'm using this which I the idle mechanism now remember this is super loose because I've already pulled it out a few times now as you see I'm turning it back and forth you'll also notice you can see it turning in the background but the gear does not time change sorry the gear doesn't change position inside here just the pump changes in relation to where it is going to fire on the pistons or in the cylinders or whatever I'm having a hard time here guys tough day notice that this is just changing the position to which the distribution of the fuel occurs in the position of where the pistons are in relation to top dead center now theoretically with those lined up like they were this truck would fire and run except for well you know let's face it that's a pretty substantial fuck up there and I don't know if you can see the crack in there or not but it's nasty but uh, yeah all their other pistons look okay so anyway hopefully that helps um, and I'll try and get this off of here carefully so that it shows more there we go and that right there lines up with that dowel right there and just for shits and giggles I'm going to pull this around this side it's probably going to blur out but there should be a dowel somewhere right there I'll do that right there anyway that's enough